I don't review many AliExpress watches on this channel. I personally prefer the established brands that have history and micro brands that put out original designs. But I do genuinely like some watches that are on AliExpress. And there are some watches on there that I would absolutely enjoy wearing. So I thought for the first and maybe last time, I'll put together a list of 10 AliExpress watches that are actually worth buying. First of all, I'm not gonna be recommending any Tudor, Omega or Rolex clomages on this list. That's just not what I do. I strive for originality where possible. So if your favourite Pagani isn't on this list, don't get mad with me, just enjoy your watch. Let's start off with one of the most popular brands on AliExpress, San Martin. They failed to capture my attention till now. This new watch they've just released is one beautiful ticker. I honestly thought I would never want to own a San Martin watch because they mostly just pump out Tudor and Rolex knockoffs, but they've actually done a little bit of design work with this new piece. Yes, it's clear that this is heavily inspired by the Patek Aquanaut, but I enjoy how they've fused the dial pattern with some Flieger style markings. Putting this watch next to the Aquanaut does reveal how heavy the inspiration was, but I'm always an advocate of taking a design and evolving it into something different. This watch isn't trying to be a Patek, it's very much being its own piece. The specs are fantastic, as you'd expect with a San Martin. 39.5mm case diameter, a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective treatment, an automatic say Eco NH35 movement, BGW9 on the hands and markers, 100 meters of water resistance, and an on the fly adjustment clasp with solid links and solid M links. I am disappointed though that this watch only features an NH35 because this dial doesn't feature a date window, meaning that there will be a ghost date position when setting the time. A lot of my watch reviewer friends rave on about how good the finishing is on a San Martin, so I have zero doubts that this watch will be fantastic in person. And for bang on $200, this is the first San Martin that has seriously caught my attention. You'll find affiliate links for every single watch that I feature in this video down in the description. A watch that's been going a bit viral recently is this piece by Addis Dive. This is a watch that I actually reviewed last year and I was super impressed with the quality to price ratio. This watch is a bit special because of the dial finish. They feature a 3D wavy construction that gives off Grand Seiko vibes on a much tighter budget. There's three different versions of this watch with all three of them offering something just a little bit different. The blue model offers a dial experience that resembles the waves of an ocean. The brown variant gives off the visuals of looking down at a sandy beach, with the white model offering that freshly fallen snow look. The construction is the same across all three models, so it's amazing just how much the experience can change with just the change of a colour. Now do bear in mind that this watch only costs $70, and you'll likely be able to find it even cheaper if you wait for a sale. So obviously at this lower price, we get less spec than other AliExpress options. A stainless steel case with decent finishing remains but the automatic movement is swapped out for a Seiko Mecha Quartz instead. And unfortunately, there is only a piece of mineral glass on this watch. But 100 meters of water resistance, a milled clasp, and those beautiful dials do make these some great value watches. If you want one of the best value watches on AliExpress, then this next one is one that you should definitely check out. The spec sheet on this Bowdery Field watch is insane for the price. Its standout spec is without question the titanium construction. The case, solid links, clasp, and solid end links are all made from titanium and it is incredibly rare to find a watch that is made from completely titanium at this sort of price. That does mean however that this watch is super lightweight. It almost feels like it's made from plastic. Therefore this watch does actually feel quite cheap but that does tend to be the case with most titanium tickers. The sapphire crystal protects the military inspired dial with the Seiko NH35 automatic movement taking care of the timekeeping. The crown and date window are down at the four o'clock which is a bit unusual but I kind of like it and it's always good to see a field watch having 100 meters of water resistance. I'm always perplexed when I see a military inspired watch only have 50 meters. I'm looking at you Hamilton. This watch does wear slightly larger than the 40 millimeter case suggests. This is down to the longer than usual looks. For just $125, I think that this watch is offering an insane spec sheet. If you're after a watch that looks like it costs $30,000 but only costs 170, then this Boltonet is the one for you. Now I know I said that I don't do clomage watches and well, this Boltonet is a clomage, but honestly, it's just nice to see something that isn't a Rolex knockoff on AliExpress. This bolt in it is a copy of the Vacheron Constantin 1921. I watched this designed to be worn on the inside of the wrist whilst driving. Now obviously this intended use is completely pointless with modern technology, but I still think that the design is super cool and one that should be 
be celebrated. This piece features an automatic seagull movement with a sub-seconds register down at the 3 o'clock. The applied brigade numerals have a polished finish and look excellent with the metallic finish of the dial. This watch is available with both a manual wind and automatic movement, with the manual version being slightly slimmer. You also have a choice between a silver and salmon dial, with the salmon having a sunburst finish. All versions though have a completely polished 38mm case. These do wear slightly larger due to the squared nature. I'd probably say closer to a 40, but this watch both looks and feels surprisingly good for that $170 price tag. If you want a watch for your collection that is bundles of fun and has a cool complication, then I'd absolutely recommend this Pierre Paulin. The jump power complication is a feature that you won't see very often. First of all, it's not a super desirable complication because it can make timekeeping slightly harder, but also there's pretty much zero mechanical movements outside of China that can do this on an affordable budget. Notice how this watch only has one hand on the center pinion. That is your minute hand, with the hours being displayed on a window up at the 12 o'clock. When the hour is over, that window will jump over to the next hour. We also see the sub-seconds register down at the 6 o'clock, giving this dial an unusual look, but in my opinion, definitely an aesthetically pleasing design. But also notice the different textures to the dial surface, which absolutely gives this watch a premium look. Now you can actually get this watch in two different sizes, either 36mm or 38mm. Weirdly, these sizes have different case designs, with the 36mm being a bit more blocky, and the 38mm looking more traditional. This beautiful piece will only set you back around $135, and if you're enjoying this top 10 list so far, then make sure you subscribe because I do videos like this all the time. If you want one of the best value watches on the entire planet, then check this out. This watch costs a staggering $50, and what you get for that price is mind-blowing. It's obvious that this watch is going after the popular Flieger aesthetic, with it closely resembling the IWC Mark 20. But that isn't the headline here. This watch comes with an automatic Seiko NH35 movement, a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective treatment, and 200 meters of water resistance. That already for $50 just shouldn't exist. But then, when you also consider the stainless steel case, which actually has okay finishing, the loom on this watch that's surprisingly good, and then the solid link bracelet, it's hard not to call this one of the best value watches on the entire planet. I bought the strap version, which for some reason is actually more expensive than the bracelet option. I can confirm that this watch actually works. At this price, I genuinely wouldn't have been surprised if they just delivered a box of parts and you had to put the watch together yourself. But no, this is a fully built, fully functioning and surprisingly good watch for just $50. I think it would be a crime to make a video about the best watches on AliExpress and not include a watch that features the Seagull ST19 movement. My recommendation is that you take a look at a brand called Suges. My favourite is the Suges 1963. However, this isn't just another Seagull 1963 copy like you find everywhere else. They've combined the design of an old school 70s racing chronograph with some elements from the mega popular Seagull 1963. The 12 and six Arabic numerals are a welcome addition to the classic design, with that star counterbalance on the chronograph seconds being a subtle nod towards the beloved 1963 chronograph. The black and white panda variant is probably my favourite from the whole collection, but the cream dial version is also super sharp. The full black dial looks the most premium of the three, albeit with a bit less personality. But let's be honest, it's that mechanical chronograph movement that you're buying here. It's an anomaly at this price. This mechanical chronograph will only set you back just over $200. And for the sapphire crystal, mechanical movement and classic chronograph looks, it's absolutely a watch that I think a lot of people should consider. This next watch is like Omega and Rolex had a baby. It features a Rolex Submariner style case with the arrowed hands and textured dial giving off Omega vibes. However, like the other bowdery we featured earlier, this one also comes with a titanium case. This time though, we don't see a titanium bracelet, just a rubber strap instead. Although this watch looks like a diver, it's only a skin diver because it only features 100 meters of water resistance. And don't worry, you can still take this watch for a dip in the pool when you go on holiday. But I do super enjoy the honeycomb texture of the dial. It adds a dimension to this watch and sets it apart from the competition. It is also possible to get this watch in a bronze case, which does completely change the look of this piece. I though would definitely go for the titanium version, because it will make the 40mm case wear incredibly well. And guess what the movement is? I bet you can't guess. That's right, it's the Seiko NH35. 
Are you bored of this movement yet? But seriously, you can never go wrong with this movement. It's reliable and does the job. Depending on which variant you want, this watch comes in at around $150. This next one is one of my personal favorite watches on AliExpress right now. If you want a watch that looks like nothing else, a watch that features a one of a kind bezel, then check out this beauty by Boltony. This piece uses both steel and bronze for the construction of the case. The mid case is steel for durability and longevity. The bezel is made from bronze for the pure aesthetics. That bronze bezel features steel studs at every five minute interval, which almost feels like peering through a submarine window, with the bezel bolted to the case. That bezel doesn't move, so although this watch does have 200 meters of water resistance, I wouldn't call it a diver, just dive capable. The dial design is extremely Tudor-esque, but Boltony has used fence post hands for a bit of variation. Inside is the Seiko NH38 automatic movement. No ghost date position, thank you very much, Boltony. The dome sapphire features some blue anti-reflect treatment and is a fantastic piece of glass for the price. Speaking of, you can pick up this watch for around $175. And for this beautiful design with the great spec sheet on offer, really does make this one of the best AliExpress watches in my opinion. With the introduction of the Seiko NH34 and Myota 9075 movements, we have seen an absolute flood of GMT watches on the affordable market. I do think though that one of the best options is actually found on AliExpress. Again, we'll be visiting San Martin for another of their original Original designs. This time though, I actually give a lot of credit to San Martin for the design because it doesn't look the same as any other watch at face value. Obviously it still borrows elements, but it's a well put together piece. This San Martin uses the more affordable GMT movement with the Seiko NH34, but I'm happy to see that the date window has been moved down to the 6 o'clock. The 24 hour bezel is made from ceramic and the crystal is a top heart sapphire. Although this does look like a dive watch, it does only feature 100 meters of water resistance. I don't mind this though because the watch is relatively slim at just 12 and a half millimeters and it probably would have been a bit thicker if it was 200 meter capable. I struggle to think of a watch that's offering this package at this sort of price. It's an exceptional GMT option for just $250. But if you've watched this whole video and you've not yet found your next watch then you need to go and watch my 20 best affordable field watches video that I did a couple weeks ago. Go and check it out. It's a great video and I'll see you over there. Bye for now guys.